Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make the data analysis button visible in Excel in order to facilitate uh, conducting data analysis. In this Excel version, this is 2016, when you click on the tab data, you see there is nowhere here it says data analysis. So you want to have a button that says data analysis, which will allow you to conduct uh, certain statistical analysis better. Now, you can still do many analysis without that button. If you want to do some stats, you can click on formula, click on uh, more functions, and you see statistical. And here you have a range of tests that you can run in Excel. However, a lot of those results will not give you all the values that you need. Some of them will give you only a p-value. But if you want to see more and get a better understanding of the test you're running, it's better to use the feature in Excel called data analysis. It's an add-in. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to make it visible or how to get it into Excel. If you click on File here, it takes you to this page and you can go on to option you click on option and then it allows you to it opens another window here you go to add in and on the right side if you scroll down here you see manage excel add ins Next, make sure it's selected, Excel add-in, and then you click Go. As you click Go, you have this window that shows up. Uh, you're going to check Analysis Tool Pack, which is what you want, but also the second one, Analysis Tool Pack VBA. Make sure those two options are selected, and then click OK. Once you do that, the button analysis, uh, data analysis will show up on Excel on the right. You click OK, give it a few seconds to work on, and now the, the button is there. How do you see the button? If you click on data, you see now I have the data analysis button, which was not there before, as I showed you in the beginning of the video. So with the button here, you can run a lot of tests that will give you more output. You click on data analysis button, you see a bunch of tests that you can run. In our next video, we will go over some of those tests that are commonly used in statistics. Thank you for your time. Hope you like it. See you next time. Bye.